Hey guys, uh, this is Crispy. And I'm just bought. And we are the FND Gamers. So the FND Gamers stands for the Father and Daughter Gamers. Mm -hmm. uh, we are doing regular Twitch streams uh, on Tuesday, Friday, and it's Saturday. Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, and in this video, we wanted to do a quick overview of uh, our journey from, uh, you know, kind of a one star uh, Animal Crossing town to five stars. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so we kind of have a before and after look of, of what our town looked like, mm -hmm. but, you know, kind of early on and then what the kind of the finished product or the, the five star product mm -hmm. looks like. Uh, and then we'll also talk about some of our, um, villagers and mm -hmm. who our favorites are. Mm -hmm. And then we'll wrap with, uh, discussions around our, um, our favorite, I'm sorry, of our future plans. Mm -hmm um for the game after, after you know what are we working on next mm -hmm. so with that we'll get into the uh the before and after look uh, of our town all right guys so we wanted to take a look at uh the before and after of our of our town of salt um <laughs> so we we managed to kind of save a, a a map of the town before we really started doing any kind of rearranging of, mm -hmm. of where villagers were and where things were located um so we've got kind of the before picture up on the screen right now and you can kind of see there's like residents that are really spread out of the place they're usually they're closest to where resident services is they're yeah really close central to the bottom except for three of them which are on upper levels well yeah and then mm -hmm. there, i mean there's like half on like one side half yeah. on the other side and then you got that one outlier up on the top who yep. ended up being uh, Miranda, who he hated, and it we took can... forever for her to leave. It did. Uh, but she is gone now, so uh, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. She went to the abyss. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she, she might have gotten to gone to Tatten. Maybe, yeah, maybe to Tatten, Tatten's Island. I mm -hmm. don't know. Uh, so, anyways, um, you can kind of see everything spread out, um, and then. You know, we did have three. Does this one have three or only two of us at this point? This one has three. Okay, yeah, I see the I see the third one now. Yeah. So okay, because I'm I'm kind of my house is is where the 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 marker is right on yep. that on that old image. So okay, so so our so why don't you tell about the plan? What the, what was the plan? Okay. And then we can show the after picture. So uh, my beginning plan was to make sure that all the residents were close to each other, just to make it kind of like a community type thing, make it feel more like a big residential area rather than just everyone's kind of spread out and has their own little space on the island. It's good to have some space, but I think it was just a little too far out that it didn't make a lot of sense. Uh, so that was the first thing. Second thing was making sure that all the paths were still connected and good. There, there are still some in this picture but i we had to make sure that everything connected with each other and the newer moving everyone and everything else i wanted to move all of the shops and um the museum over where some of the other people were living because we put nook's nook shop down in the bottom corner on the left yep so i wanted to move the tailor shop and the museum closer over there so we had kind of like a distinguished resident area and then kind of shopping and commercial commercial area. Yep. yeah yep and, and then we kind of had like mm -hmm. the the um the camping areas kind of set up in itself in mm -hmm. the top near the top top right side of the map mm -hmm. so so yeah so let's take a look at the after map mm -hmm. pull that up okay so now this is kind of the post all like everything is done being moved we're not mm -hmm. planning on doing any more moves at this point in time right uh so you can see all of the um all of the villagers are all kind of clustered out kind of spokes from the resident services but they're all kind of contained within kind of the same general area in the yeah. bottom bottom right side of the map mm -hmm. We, so. we both kind of switched houses or switched places with some people. You moved to where Coulson's house was and Coulson's house moved to where you were. And then I moved my house closer to Empress's and put Chief's house where my house was. Mm -hmm. Because both of those spots were close to resident services. So we felt that it was fine to put them there. Mm -hmm. As well as I wanted to move closer 
to more of like a little little cranny for myself to have a little spot. Gotcha. It's a cute little spot and I like it. And then we also added some like land places between the river to like, yeah, jump on. Hops, hopping, like stepping stools or step jumping points basically. Yeah. Hopping points. So it's a little easier to go between like instead of going through bridges or vaulting. Yeah. Vaulting, yeah. It's easier to um jump over yeah i basically kind of unregistered my pole vaulting pole at this point mm -hmm. like because it's just not i don't really need it for anything in our town like it's 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 in my bag but mm -hmm. i don't have it as a quick quick fasten i put the watering can in its place now nice i still keep mine in my thing but i don't really use it too much um it's yeah just, just there. okay so yeah so real quick like what are the costs involved with moving moving a resident okay. or moving a shop, and what do you have to do to do that? So, uh, being the resident representative, you're the only one who can move things on your island. Even if if you share with multiple if you share. players, yeah, correct. So what I had to do was first ask permission from people. Like, you always, like, get a confirmation, but... Well, you have to ask who? Tom Nook. You ask Tom Nook first For, to initiate it? Yes, you ask about layout changes, and then you can ask to move, move like, a resident, or let's talk infrastructure, I believe is what it is, and you can um, move people or places. So, in order to move a person that is not yourself, you have to pay 50,000 bells, and then you also get them in for like a conference they usually say yes all of ours said yes so i think it's like a guaranteed yes but mm -hmm. fifty thousand per resident to move yourself you only need ten thousand bells so it's cheaper to move yourself but if you want to move others into like a community it is more expensive and then for shops all shops and and the museum mm -hmm. you have to also pay fifty thousand dollars for that one fifty thousand bills okay so it's like 50k for the residents um other than the human players yes and the and the shops mm -hmm. and then 10k for human players yep okay cool yeah so i think at this point i think we want to do a quick walkthrough mm -hmm. of the town so we'll do a walk through a town. Drez will run around and have fun, <laughs> and then um, after that, we'll do kind of a um, we'll do kind of a uh, uh, talking about our villagers. Mm -hmm. So I'll let uh, Drez. So we got the mm -hmm. the thing up. We're starting at the airport, so we're yep. kind of in the bottom middle of the map. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get a good view of our improved flag I amazing made salt amazing mm -hmm. i thought fun salt shaker would be cool so yeah so we start here we have a fun rock and some way signs right to the left is sterling's house mm -hmm. and then living next to him i believe is fauna mm -hmm. yes and um, we have some cool stuff in here a lot of homemade things there's a bamboo um diy diy uh, if you go to the right on this first path, there is a bunch of recipes down here that usually one of us already has, so we put them down in the swap area, and we just kind of look and see if we have them before, and if we don't have them, then we can learn them. We usually talk talk it out first, see, hey, does anyone have this, and if we don't, then we kind of put it down. Over here is Chief's house, which mm -hmm. is where my house, my house used to be. Yep. So... I moved myself first and then moved him in here because it's a good little central spot. And right next to him is Meringue, mm -hmm. who is our newest villager to come. Our last, our, our tenth last. villager. Yes. And she's really cute and I like her a lot and I know that a lot of people like her too. Oh my goodness. Hello. This is, there's, there's Chief. Mm -hmm. He looks so happy. He does. For a grouchy guy, he looks pretty happy. <laughs> yeah. And then this is uh, Agnes's house. Agnes was part of the initial two mm -hmm. that we started with. Uh, the only people's houses who we didn't move were Agnes and Rudy. Who so, were the first two. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Agnes's house is right here. And then if we go up a little bit, this is Ozzy's house. He was mm -hmm. our third villager. Yep. So I liked him a lot. He's a cute little 
Um, koala bear. Koala bear, and he looks so adorable. And he calls you old bear, and I love it. And then this is Rady's house. And we kind of started putting a lot of flowers here in the beginning. Just, yeah. It was like a, just a nice little designated spot. But then we kind of moved him around. And then down here is a little DIY workbench with some coffee. Because, you know, you got to have some of that coffee sometimes. Mm -hmm. Real good. But yeah, there's a little spot for your bench. A little working. And then resident services. And then there's another path up here. And if you go this way, hi, Sprinkle. This is Sprinkle's house. Mm -hmm. So she lives over here, and I like I like her house too. It's really it's a really cute color, and I like the roof. And then next to her is Sherry, who was our ninth villager. Yep, second last. Mm -hmm. Who is a really adorable pink bear, mm -hmm. little cub. That's She's her. right there. Yeah, actually. she's wearing a bow. Oh my goodness, she's adorable, and I love her. Going up here, and then finally going up here is Quilson, who is my personal favorite villager. I like him a lot. Uh, we got him on accident. I, I accidentally got him. We got him on accident, and then we were going to get rid of him, and then we kind of liked him. We so, did. Um, yeah, that's the, he's in the spot where my old house was. And oh my goodness, whose house is this? I wonder. Then we jump on a jumping pad and go across this. Oh my goodness, whose house is this? This is my house. <laughs> the mansion. The, it's so big. I love this, the statue. And... I got that from Ange. Mm-hmm. Hold on, I gotta go around. Yeah, I know. To get a good shot. Lots of bamboo over here. This is the OG bamboo spot. We have our Lily of the Valley. Mm-hmm. Which makes me feel really good, because we worked really hard to make this town really cool. And you, you where you, you, like, took it from its spot, and then put it, was, it by your I, house. I <laughs> transplanted it by my house. Oh, oh, Wisp is here. Wisp is here. We also have a camper. But... I just wanted to show off this little orchard for a second. We have one of every kind of fruit, except for coconuts, but it's right there. And, uh, yeah, it was a little little designated spot for some fruit trees. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure that we had something little, something little like that, and it's cute. And then up here is the campsite, which we have a lot of different things around it. Some signs. We have a big bonfire, and that's a water fountain, I believe. Mm -hmm. And some ring toss games, uh, an outhouse, a little patch of flowers with a scarecrow, which I think is really cute. I love the scarecrow. Yep. A little log bench, and then a bunch of solar panels. Yep, because gotta have some power when you're camping. You gotta have some power. And then over here, there's a little waterfall. And then it's not too important, but there's another bench over here. Another Do hopping point. Yep. And then we have our teacup ride, which it's really cute when it goes. It just makes a lot of noise when you're over here. So it's like whenever we're playing, we always know where everyone else is if that's playing. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. There's only one spot you can be. Oh, there's a bucket there. Mm -hmm. I never knew that was there. That was recent. Mm -hmm. I added All right. that. Another little waterfall. Up here, there's not really too much. We've got some... Some steel beams, uh, beams uh, the, the satellite, satellite dish, uh, water fountain. It's really cool. And then and then power stuff mm -hmm. with the danger sign. Just so Always got to like, have danger signs. Messed up by the, mm -hmm. by the windmill. Hi, Wisp. Out of the way. <laughs> I am on a mission. So right about here is where Miranda's house used to be, which is where you said the Lily of the Valley spawned over here. Somewhere around there, yeah. Mm-hmm. She's like, she was like the worst villager ever. <laughs> it took forever to get rid of her. Then down here, we've got a cool little wood tree. Cherry blossom. Mm-hmm. And then also... Cool lamp. Mm-hmm. And then a little moss thing and some... A lawnmower. And a lot of, a lot of flowers. We like flowers. There's a money tree. Uh, yeah. There's more flowers over here, but also a utility pole... And Godzilla. Mm -hmm. Look at him. Look at this man. He's cool. He's so cool. He breathes fire. It's it's one of the coolest things. He throws fire, man. Mm -hmm. Over here is like a little sauna thing. Yep, a heater. A little sauna heater with a pool. And then also this little wrestler figurine that I just kind of creeper threw in there. And then we have our patches of roses, mm -hmm. which is um, good for breeding flowers. It's like a good... Um, spaces yeah we left spaces for 
different, hopefully different colors to fill in. It's like I get like pink from the white and the red, and mm -hmm. I don't know if you get like orange. I think you get orange from, from the red and the yellow. Mm -hmm. Bye bye fish. Over here is more. These are the mums. These are mums. Okay, I didn't know what they looked like because I never really mm -hmm. had them. Yeah, mums are cute. And then up here. More flowers. More flowers. These tulips. are tulips. Uh, are these the red ones? Red and yellow. Red and yellow, yeah. And they they will breed orange mm -hmm. tulips. And we've got a little stone tablet. Mm -hmm. It was one of the first things that you put out, I think. Mm -hmm. A little old well, which I think looks cool, too. And then over here, we get... That's my house. We get over towards Empress's house, who also has a bigger house and cooler house than me. She's got all of the flowers... They she does have a lot of flowers. Everywhere. Look at all this. Go up above. You gotta show the, I will. the waterfall. I will. Right here, uh, I believe you put in this waterfall thing. The like waterfall her. feature, mm -hmm. yes. I think that it looks really cool. I like the specific pink and blue flowers that you put in there. Mm -hmm. it, I think it's a really cool little accent. And then we have our cute little lighthouse. And for some reason, a tombstone. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure what it's there for. But it's there. There lies Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another workbench by her house, and all of the flowers. Up here, there's not really kind too much. Kind of like much. a forest. Mm -hmm. This is where uh, Sterling's house used to be. Chief's house was kind of by where the lighthouse was. Mm -hmm. And then we got soccer goal, just in case anyone wants to play some soccer. Hello, dirty turnips. Right here is the Able Sisters shop. And it's right next to Tom Nook's store, the little Nook's cranny, which I thought was... A good spot since they're both like more of shopping things rather than um like touristy really attractions and down here we have another big workbench mm -hmm. and i like the little brick underneath it and this fence i like this fence a lot it's a fun fence and then if you go up from here you get to the museum which i don't know it's really cool we have a lot of things in there I don't think we're... I feel like we have most of the fossils. Yeah, we have a lot of fossils, but we definitely do not have everything else. Look at these pink lilies. Look at them. And you put in a fun little hedge maze right over here. Mm -hmm. It's not really too complicated, but it's still fun looking. Wee! I like it. Little construction sign. And then this is a little patio type of hangout place that I made out of a bunch of stone. And a bunch of random things that I had in my house that I really didn't have any space for, but I thought would look cool outside. And I liked it a lot. It's a cool little spot to just hang out with your friends. We got a shell fountain. And then over here, right up here, is my house. And it was interesting going from a bigger spot. I had a bigger spot where I originally was to this little nook and cranny. But I like it a lot because it kind of gives it a more, like, homey feeling. And I have all of my things in. And we have this cool um, outdoor bath, which I think is really cool. I made it. It's and pretty I, cool. I really like it. And then if you go back down here and to the right, you'll find that you are right by Quilson's house. And right by Resident Services. So I think that's everything that I really want. That, that's in that town, I think. Yep. I think it's I a hit quick the good... overview of the town. Mm -hmm. Um let's let's do a quick rundown of our villagers okay and then you can talk briefly about your favorite and why and okay. then i'll do the same uh and then we'll i think we'll talk about future plans mm -hmm. and then we'll wrap up okay. so go ahead so uh our first two villagers as we've said are rudy and agnes agnes is a black pig with like white circles around her eyes and i think she's cute She's a sisterly type, so yeah, she's good. I think that she's a good she's a good pig, I think. And Rudy is a red cat, mm -hmm. like a reddish, reddish brown reddish brown cat. He's a jock type, and I think he's really cute. He calls us mush sometimes, or he used to call yeah, us mush. mush. Um, yeah, he's he's a jock type, and he's really cool. He's fun. I like uh, talking to him. He has like a distinct aura around him. Okay, why don't you go through the rest quicker? Quicker. Okay, sorry. And then we have Ozzy, who's a cute koala. Um, we got Fauna, who's a deer, and she's, uh, normal, so cute little, little deer type. And then Sprinkle, who's a blue penguin, mm -hmm. she's peppy, she's really fun to talk to. Then Quilson, who is a green duck, 
with like freckles on his face. Mm -hmm. He likes to sing a lot, which is why he's my favorite, because he just he likes to sing, and I like singing, and he wanted to be a singer. That's his aspiration. So I think that's cool. And then we have Chief. Chief. Who is like a you know, orangish wolf type. He mm -hmm. kind of looks like a fox. And he's cranky, but he doesn't seem very cranky when you talk to him. Sterling is a jock uh, bird. and he, Like an eagle? Yeah, eagle. And he has like a big knight's helmet on all mm -hmm. the time. And I think that that looks really cool. That was one of the reasons why I put him on the list. And then I believe is Cherry, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Cherry, who's the little cute little pink bear, bear cub. Uh, she was on the list from the beginning, but um, we didn't really run into her. She's cute. And she's really fun. And then the last one is Meringue, who's a rhino. And she has a little strawberry for her rhino. For her rhino horn? Hone. Yeah. And I think, it, I think that she looks really cute. And yeah. All right. I like her a lot. So my favorite villager is Fauna because she's super nice. And she always gives me lots of stuff. Um, and she waters a lot of the plants. And, you know, she doesn't cause any drama. I don't know. She's, she's probably my all-around favorite. Uh, villager. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who's your favorite? I said Quilson. Oh. I talked about it when uh, I talked okay. about Quilson. I didn't know if you wanted to chime well, in or not. I mean, yeah, he's because he at, sings a lot. He does. At first, I didn't think that I'd like him because he kind of he looked like just smug he, type. He is smug. He looked like just slightly off too, like just the way his eyes are always like half lidded. But he sings and he has a really cute uh, talking voice and he's really nice to me actually. He. He's, he's really cool, and I like him a lot. He also wears beanies sometimes. Yeah. So I like that. And glasses and sometimes, glasses. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that he's a cool he's a cool guy. He doesn't also seem that smug either. So I okay. like that. All right, well, let's wrap with uh, our future plans. Mm -hmm. uh, so for myself, I am working towards paying off my loan, my last loan. So I have the basement. I, I kind of have expanded my house as far as I can go. Um, I kind of struck it rich on the turnip market. You did. So I, I'm close to paying off the ba Well, I'm about halfway on the basement. Uh, and then I'm also working on uh, uh, flower hybrids to get the rare colors of mm -hmm. flowers. So those are kind of my two things that I'm working on. I like the patches that you have, too. They're, like, out of the way enough that yeah. they don't get in the way, but then they're also close enough that you could still see them and it looks cool. Mm -hmm. I like those patches. They're they're fun to find different colors in. I guess my my first thing that I really want to do is expand my house so that I can have like an attic or an upper level. I'm I'm st I still don't have an upper level, but I do want it because I want to customize my house kind of like yours where you have like an outside fun mm -hmm. fun looking color and design so i kind of want to do that first but then after that i also want to put in more ramps and bridges uh, over in the some places where we don't really have anything like going from um where empress's house is yeah. to like the beach because she does a lot of fishing and i know that she like she would definitely appreciate that but then also maybe a couple more bridges in some places where we tend to go a lot yeah and I, I think one thing that we both want is Rocco. Yeah, we like try we do have, Rocco. we have our quest for Rocco. <laughs> so I think, what did we say we were gonna get rid of? Chief or Scraw? I think. Or um, I'm sorry, not Scraw. Um, Sterling. Ster he says. And he scraw. says his catchphrase is Scraw. So we. So I think those that. are kind of the two candidates to get mm -hmm. replaced. Uh, but we want Rocco because we had him in Animal Crossing. Uh, the, like the original. The, yeah, whatever was on the GameCube mm -hmm. version. So he was kind of like, you know, hits home a little bit as one of our favorite mm -hmm. uh, villagers. I think that he's cool. I, I mean, because he was cranky, I didn't really like him that much as a kid, but... I know how much you like him. And you I'm used like, to laugh at him. Though, I did when he would call you hippie. Oh. Because <laughs> his catchphrase was hippie. It's. I so. think it's funny. I still do called me a hippie yeah he's cool even though i mean he, even though chief is a cranky type he doesn't seem that cranky but rocco is, seems very cranky as a cranky type right but we don't mind because he's cool and we like him all right well hey thanks mm -hmm. so much for watching this is our um 
this is our town. I uh, hope you enjoyed our, our short walkthrough of our town mm -hmm. and our rambling about our villagers' <laughs> aspirations. All right, guys. So thanks so much for watching our, our video. Mm -hmm. um, if you like what you saw, please uh, consider clicking the uh, uh, subscribe and like buttons mm -hmm. so that we can uh, grow our channel. Um, be sure to check us out on Twitch. We're streaming uh, Tuesdays, Friday, and Saturday nights. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we're trying to get uh, weekly content posted here on, on YouTube. So if you liked it, uh, let us know in the comments below. Mm -hmm. And uh, we hope to catch you in a future stream. Uh, and thank you again for mm -hmm. watching. Thank Have you. a great day. Bye-bye.